your girl is gonna try something new today. I went on Canva and I had their AI image generator generate a bunch of different makeup looks. And then I chose one to recreate. Now I'm not recreating the complexion. I'm just recreating the eye makeup. This is the design that it came up with. Very interesting, very beautiful. We're gonna see if we can do that on these eyes. This is a lot of colors, okay? A lot of colors, so I'm gonna dip into several palettes in order to make this look. So, where do I start? <laughs> That's the real question, where do I start? I think I'm gonna start with like this little corner into the brow bone area. And I need a pinky kind of color. Now, this color looks like it could be that outer V color. I'm gonna take a really, well, not really tiny, but a, a semi-tiny <laughs> brush because I don't want to use my big fluffy brush because that'll just put too much color in that spot. So I'm going to dip into this really pretty shade right here. And with this, I'm just going to kind of carve out that V, V shape. I'll blend this out later. All right. I think that looks good. Okay, so far so good. Bruh, I didn't even grab all the palettes I need. I'm gonna go grab a palette that has a deeper purple shade. I'll be right back. For that deeper purple shade, I'm gonna go into the flower palette. I'm gonna use this purple right here. And then I'm just kind of blend that in. Some of that other color kind of disappeared. I'm gonna dip back into this color and then just kind of reintroduce that. Now, if this look does not turn out like the picture, I'll be okay as long as it's not ugly. Like as long as the look just isn't ugly, I'll be okay. I also don't have the same lid space that the AI design has. So that may play a little factor in there as well. Going into a fluffier brush, I'm just gonna kind of diffuse that a little bit. No color on this brush, just plain old bristles. I'm just diffusing that a little bit. It looks like that, like a reddish kind of color kind of comes in like right in here. I'm gonna go into this red that's in this Festivals by Juvia's palette and just kind of build that into the crease area. This does not look like the picture, <laughs> like at all. How about this? We're gonna go for inspired by, that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna do a look inspired by the AI look. I'm already failing, I'm already failing at this. Next, I can start building in that orange, which I believe the orange is in this Juvia's palette as well. And it kind of does like a halo effect. I'm gonna go into this orange right here, very pigmented, build this in to this area, and then build it in right here. See, this isn't even the right orange. I don't think I have the right colors. Looks nothing like the picture. <laughs> Looks nothing like the picture, but I'm gonna trust my process and just try my best. Next, I'm gonna lay this color down over my lid because this is gonna be like a yellow kind of moment going on in there. So I wanna build up that yellow. That's actually looking really pretty. Well, with my glasses off, it looks really pretty. It's giving sunset vibes. I need to start doing more intricate eyeshadow looks like this. I feel like that's the only way my skills are gonna get better. I continue to do like more intricate looks that require skills. Okay, a particular set of skills. We're gonna dip into this goldy color right here. Now, I know it's not exactly the same, but I don't really have anything that is that perfect shade. And so what I'm hoping is that because we laid down that other shade, that this will kind of help, help bring that to life. Ooh, that looks so bruh. That looks so pretty. I'm cooking with grease now. This is actually working. Oh my God. I was not expecting that to work. I thought it was gonna look like a muddy, muddy mess. And maybe it does look a muddy mess and I just am in denial. But from here, we're pretty good. 
Now I am going to dip back into flour just to kind of make that cut crease just a little bit more obvious, just to reintroduce that. I'm just gonna do a little bit of blending with nothing extra on my brush. I'm just gonna kind of do some blend work. I feel like this eye looks so much better than this eye. <laughs> I feel like that other pink keeps disappearing. I'm gonna dip into this pink right here and then just kind of put that above that other shade. I need to like clean that up. So far, this is actually turning out a lot better than I thought it would. Now I need to put a very, very light yellow on the inside of my eye. I'm thinking for that bright yellow, I'm just gonna use this. It's not quite the yellow that I want. It should do, okay, it should do. So I'm just gonna kind of dip into there. And then first I'm gonna put this down and then blend it. Now that we've put that yellow down, we're gonna go over it with a shimmer. Okay, we're gonna go over it with some shimmer, shimmer, shimmer. For the shimmer we're gonna use, we're gonna use this one. Oh yeah, that's pretty. That's very pretty. There is a little bit of yellow on the outside right here, but I do wanna clean this up first before I do that. So I just kind of cleaned up that edge on both sides, actually. I'm gonna go back into this palette, but this time I'm gonna take a fluffy brush and add that to this part right here. So I'm just gonna take this little fluffy brush, add that right there. The bottom is a bunch of like really beautiful blues. I can't really see exactly what's going on underneath her eye directly, but I am gonna go in with this for the first layer, which is like this. And then underneath that, and I'm gonna take a brush like this, and I'm going to dip into this Ofra palette, get this color right here, and I'm gonna smoke that out even more because that color comes really low on the face. I might add a little bit of this darker blue, this blue right here, just to kind of make that look closer to the picture. Now let me see. Hmm. <laughs> Once I added that color underneath, that just started to look so freaking crazy. Like it looks beautiful in the picture, but in practice, I don't know, dog. I don't know. Maybe it's because I don't have eyelashes on. Does it look exactly like the picture? Absolutely not. <laughs> no, it doesn't. I'm gonna go back into this palette and I'm gonna go back in to this shade right here. I'm just gonna kind of do like a little halo effect right there. Now that that halo effect is in effect, I'm gonna take a clean brush and I'm just gonna try to blend everything. How do I feel about the look right now? I think it looks crazy. I don't think this looks like the picture. I think some of it got really muddy. I think I might be at the point of no return where I just put so many shadows on that it, it just, it can't be fixed. You know, I'm sure there are plenty of makeup artists that could make this completely slay. Like I said, I am not a makeup artist by any sense of the word. I literally have no idea what I'm doing. I'm just trying my best. That's as good as I'm gonna be able to get that. <laughs> Time for eyeliner. And for the eyeliner, I'm gonna use the Defiance Beauties. This one doesn't really have a deep line. It's more so just making sure there's a line across the entire lid. the eyes are in line, let's move on to the mascaras, which I dropped on the floor. Today I'm gonna be using my MAC Stack. Love this stuff. Definitely gonna purchase the full size once I'm done with this. I feel like I have to do bottom lashes on a look like this. I'm just gonna do my little YSL. Just add like a little, little something. And this is the final look. What you ordered, what you got. I think this was fun. Definitely highlights some areas where I can improve as a makeup kind of sore, okay? Someone that enjoys makeup. But I do like how that yellow layered on top of that gold. I think that that is really pretty. Everything else, 
No. Everything else, absolutely not. But I don't think it looks terrible. I just don't think it looks good. I don't know. I don't think I did it right. I, I would like to see someone recreate this, someone who's like actually really good at what they do, recreate this AI look and make it do what it do. Cause I don't think I did the look justice. I mean, it was a good first attempt. We will be doing this challenge again with a different eye look and just keep doing it over and over again until we build our skill set. And then we can do eye makeup looks that are just like, let me know in the comments section how you think I did. From a scale of one to 10, how did you think I did? One being girl bye, 10 being you slayed that. If you like this content, you already know what to do. Like, share, comment and definitely subscribe so that you can become a Faye Bay and I will see y'all with the next one. Deuces!